Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at the new Spinning Records Bass House Sample Pack that's available now on Splice. There isn't really a typical bass house sound, but it's always characterized by heavy bass sounds. It can be a combination of house and dubstep sounds, like the typical wobble sound. Or it can also have influences from trap music. It generally blends a four on the floor beat with wobbles, growls, or any other heavy bass sounds. The drums are usually more intense than typical house drums, being influenced by UK garage music. But now that we have a better idea of the genre, let's take a look at this track I've made using only sounds from the pack. So I'm going to go through all the sounds here and show you which sounds I used from the pack and how I really incorporated them into this track. Let's start with the drums. We've got this really punchy kick mixed in with a nice clap and open hat sound. Then just to fill out the beat more, we have this percussion loop in the background. So if I open up the pack over here, you'll see it comes with a lot of great one-shot samples, but also a lot of good loops to use as well. Like in this drum kits folder, there's a bunch of full drum loops that are also broken down into their individual parts. So in this track, I ended up using this percussion loop. Now I'll talk about some of the synth sounds I've incorporated here. So the pack comes with a lot of melody loops that come in audio form, like this loop right here. But it also comes with 45 serum presets. So for the basses down here, I've used some various serum presets from the pack. This is a nice crunchy bass sound. And all of the presets come with macros engaged so you can mess with the sounds however you want using these four knobs. But for this track, I just wanted to use the driest version right in the middle of the mix for this bass. Bass stab and sub sound I'm using are also from the serum presets in the pack. So this bass stab right here, it's from a preset in serum called Crunchy. So it's grouped together with the other basses right here. It's a great sound just to add some energy at the start of a bar or a drop. The sub sound beneath those two bass layers is really helping to fill out the lowest frequencies in the frequency spectrum. This is such a nice round sub sound and it fills out the low end perfectly. And there's a lot of macros you can play with to make it a little more interesting. So in that case, I've used the macros to open up the filter a little bit, add in a new higher layer from oscillator B, and also add in some bright white noise there to make it a little bit more crunchy sounding. But for the purposes of this track, I wanted to keep it pretty low in the frequency spectrum, so I just had these macros all the way down. 
One of my favorite sounds in this track is this arpeggio sound that comes in right here. And this is from a preset in the pack called Sign Arp in the lead section. And in this case, I used the sound to really fill out the background of the drop. It felt like it was kind of lacking something in the second half of the drop, and I needed to add something rhythmic in the background to fill out the space some more. And this preset did the job perfectly. And it plays every eighth note, as you can see in the MIDI here. So it has a nice, even rhythm to it to move the drop along and keep things moving forward. I also use this sound in the buildup where there's a few other things going on as well. So like I mentioned before, I'm using this dark organ sound from the Melody Loops folder. But I felt that wasn't filling out the space well enough, so I added this pad that's also from the presets from Serum called Smooth Pad right here. You can see how much more that fills out the space. And I could even add another layer if I wanted. So I'll just duplicate this, drag the MIDI down, and I'll see what other chord sounds the pack has. So let's say I want to use this funky pad sound to fill out the space. Let's add in some automation to make it a little more interesting. So I'm gonna automate this first macro here. I'm going to go into my automation settings down here, go down to macro one right here, and then I would say right before the drop hits, I'm going to move this macro up, see how that sounds. I think that's going to sound really cool in the context of the whole mix. So you can see how easy it is to add in new sounds with these presets without any external processing at all. Like on my channel strip over here, I haven't added anything. It's all just the processing that comes with the preset in Serum. Lastly, I just have a couple more sounds from the Melody Loop section filling out the space a little bit more. I have this atmosphere sound that I'm adding to the buildup and the drop over here just to add some rising tension in the background that you don't really notice, but you more feel it. Then I have this bass melody loop to fill out the low end of the buildup. For this track, I really used every different part of the sample pack. I used some of the presets here in the Serum Presets folder. I used a bunch of the drums, obviously. I used the effects, and I also used the melody loops and atmosphere section from the tonal folder. So you can see how you can take each of these parts of the pack and put everything together to create a full song. 